Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? We've got the new banners up and running for the Raiden Shogun as well as Kokomi. Now, the Raiden Shogun banner looks pretty good here. We have Kujo, Sara, we have Shinyan as well as Bennett. Now, two of these characters are, you know, pretty good. Uh, one of them is incredibly good. Bennett is super powerful, as we all know. But Kujasar is also pretty good for this banner as well. But Shinyan is not the greatest character in the game. But she is there for a shield if you do need it. Now, for the weapon banner, we have the Engulfing Lightning as well as the Everlasting Mungo. This makes sense because we have two reruns coming up. And these are both of their best in slot 5-star weapons. Now, for these weapons, the 4-star weapons, the Akubo Maru is actually a pretty good weapon. However, the bow isn't really good on any character yet. And the lion's roar is only good for characters like maybe coaching. And the Favonius Lance is pretty good as well. As well as the... I forgot what this one was called. The Sacrificial Fragments. Also pretty good for a character like Sucrose. This weapon banner is okay. But I do not think it's that summon worthy. To be fair. Unless you are going for both Kokomi and the Raiden Shogun. I don't think it's that worth to be fair. However, the I think the Aquamaru is pretty good. So if you are summoning, the Aquamaru is a pretty good weapon. Now, I wanted to talk about the Raiden Shogun herself as well as Kokomi. I do not have Kokomi myself. And I don't think I will be, you know, fully summoning on these banners at all on my main account. Nor my free-to-play account. Because uh, on my free-to-play, I'm trying to get Akamisata Hiyato. But on my main account, I already have the Raiden Shogun. So I might just summon one on the Kokumi banner. Try to get Kujasara so I can get her C6. Now... Personally, I don't think this banner is a must pull. Um, these characters are good. You know, Bennett is really good. Of course, Kujosar is really good at C6. I don't think she's that great. She's really hard to play around with. She has a difficult time. The rotations up. She is a good character, but I feel like you need to have her at least C1. And C6, obviously, for that 60% you know crit damage also insane kuja sara i think you have to have her c2 for her to be any good her c2 allows you to get the you know a flat attack increase from the elemental skill itself so i definitely think this is the way to go if you are going to use kuja sara otherwise she's going to be really clunky and i don't think that's a really good time obviously bennett greatest character in the game especially at c1 you're going to have an amazing time with bennett and if you have a C2, it's even better for the extra energy recharge, right? The Raiden Shogun, I've talked about many times. I'll talk about again and again. She's one of the greatest characters in the current game. I highly suggest you guys to summon for her if you do not have her. Character banner is not bad, especially if you don't have any constellations for Bennett. So if you are trying to summon for both you know, Raiden Shogun as well as Bennett, this banner is not too bad. And I think it's an okay idea to summon on it. However, it, it is not a must pull. Jin Yan, unfortunately, is not one of the greatest characters in the game. She is okay if you truly build her. You know, you have the defense set as well. You could build her for some decent physical damage. But I think that's pretty much the extent of her kit, which is a little bit unfortunate. But yeah, I mean, these characters are pretty good. Obviously, I don't ha have Kokomi. So if I do get Kokomi on the first hand pull, that'd be pretty amazing. And I feel like I'll have a pretty good time with Kokomi. Kokomi has been really good. A lot of people have been picking her for the Spiral Abyss recently. And yeah, it'd be a pretty good time, especially with the 60%, not 60%, the 30% increase in the healing bonus. You're going to have a pretty good time with Kokomi. And the Raiden Shogun gets a 60% increase in, you know, electro damage. Also pretty good. Your Spiral Abyss adventure will be eased because of this current Blessing Moon. But other than that, these banners aren't the greatest thing in the world. So I would suggest that you guys avoid these if you do not want the 5 star carry. Because the 4 stars are good. It's just not a must. It's not a must summon. Definitely not a must summon. I think that is pretty much it. I don't think there is anything else really oh uh, well, yeah the weapon banner also not a must summon unless you're going for the five star characters these are not you know must summon the engulfing lightning is amazing the everlasting moonglow is only good on kokomi so far yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you guys did enjoy and got something out of it if you did please consider liking this video as well subscribing to the channel that would be greatly appreciated it would mean a lot to me i'll see you guys in the next video very soon goodbye